and welcome back to my second week in my uh, paranormal book obsession series um, as I'm calling it right now anyway and we are still on the series shifters we are on the third and the fourth book I will um, put the link down for my first video down below if you have not seen that uh, this is a series by um, Rachel Vincent, and um, I do recommend that you read them in order. There are six books in the series. There's Rachel there. And uh, you really need to read them in order to understand what's going on from book to book. Okay. Now, let's, let's just kind of give you a little refresher. Uh, completed six, no six novels. The Sir Shifters. I'm sorry about that. The Shifters series was Rachel Vincent's debut and her first work for adults. The story follows Faith Sanders, the world's only female werecat enforcer, as she struggles to carve out her own position in the Pride's patriarchal society without neglecting the demands of her heart. The revolution is coming, and Faith will be leading the charge. All right. So we're going on to uh, book three, which is Pride. Don't you just love them covers? Okay, I'm going to read the back of the cover. Here's hoping cats do have nine lives. I'm on trial for my life, falsely accused of infecting my human ex-boyfriend and killing him to cover up the crime. Infecting a human is one of the three capital offenses recognized by the Pride along with murder and disclosure of our existence to a human. I'm two for three, a goner. Now we've discovered a rogue stray terrorizing the mountainside, hunting a wild teenage tabby cat. It's up to us to find and stop him before a human discovers us. With my lover Mark's help, I think I can protect the vulnerable girl from both the ambitious rogue and the scheming of the Territorial Council if I survive my own trial. Okay. Here's what it says here. As Faith Sanders stands trial for murder, she and her fellow enforcers hunt for a murderous rogue in the free zone and discover a feral teenage tabby surviving on her own in the mountains. Okay. That is it for Pride. Um... Book two ends with, like it said here, um, the ex-boyfriend dying. That comes as quite a shock to everybody. So um, I'm not going to give anything else away than that. But this is such a good book. Such a good book. These were so good that these are, I've only saved about three series in paperback or hardcover books because um, I, I got an e-reader and so I sold all of my books and I had hundreds of books believe me I had two to the ceiling bookshelves full of books and I sold them all except for like like I said three or four series that I kept because they're my favorites so okay so here we go with Prey and let's read the back of the book first. Here is Prey. Okay. So sometimes playing cat and mouse is no game. Play. Right. My pride is under fire from all sides. My father's authority is in question and my lover is in exile. Which means I haven't laid eyes on Mark's gorgeous face in months. And with a new mother and an I-know-everything teenager under my protection... I know I don't exactly have time to fantasize about ever seeing him again. Then our long-awaited reunion is ruined by a vicious ambush by strays. Now our group is under attack, Mark is missing, and I will need every bit of skill and smarts to keep my family from being torn apart forever. 
And here is what it says about Prey. Faith Sanders and the South Central Pride enforcers search for Mark when he goes missing. The Pride suffers a tragic loss. And I will not say any more about that, but it is very tragic. Um, there's a lot of sad things in these books, but also a lot of... There's nonstop action. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of family. There's um, a lot of fierce fighting in amongst uh, people. There's uh, kidnappings and assaults and ambushes and, oh, it's, I love it. My favorite. So please, if you have not yet thought about this series, I so highly recommend it. Next week are the last two books in the series, and then we'll go on to something else. If you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up. Bye.